Hello everyone and welcome to Barca News. It's September 23rd, 2022 and Barcelona are currently considering revoking Josep Maria Bartomeu's club membership. Also, several players have picked up injuries during their international break and it's reported that Frankie de Jong has agreed to renegotiate his salary with Barcelona at the end of this year. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. Now, I'll begin with the news that Barcelona are currently considering revoking Josep Maria Bartomeu's me club membership. Now, Josep Maria Bartomeu is Barcelona's former president and he has been a member of the club since 1974. Now, the media outlet US has confirmed that Josep Maria Bartomeu received a letter in June of this year from the club informing him that his club membership will be reviewed by the disciplinary committee because of his involvement with the Barca Gate. Now, as I've explained before, the Barca Gate scandal uh, alleges that Bartomeu and three others hired a public relations firm and paid it a lot of money out of the club's own coffers in order to make the Bartomeu administration look good in the media while at the same time dispersing uh, the reputation of Juan Laporta and former Bar and Barcelona players such as Messi, Pique, and Xavi Hernandez. Now the club are currently studying Josep Maria Bartomeu's case and they're also awaiting the results of court proceedings in regards to the Barca gate in order to make a determination whether they're going to expel Josep Maria Bartomeu from the club. Now on to the news that several Barcelona players have picked up injuries while on international duty. Now, as you might already know, there's currently an international break and 18 players have left the club in order to join their international squads and several players have picked up injury yesterday while on international duty. Now, in France's victory over Austria, Jules Koundé picked up an injury at the 23rd minute and he was subbed out due to hamstring problems and it's now being confirmed that Koundé has returned to Barcelona and he will undergo medical tests tomorrow, Saturday, September the 23rd, 24th in order to determine the severity of his injury. Now we, we have yet to know how long Jules Koundé will be out due to this injury but it's already being speculated that he could be out around three to four weeks. Now if this is the case this would be a huge blow for the team because the club have a hectic calendar ahead of them where Barcelona are going to play 12 matches until the World Cup break and there's going to be a lot of key matches that Jules Koundé could end up missing out such as the two Champions League matches against Inter Milan, the Clasico against Real Madrid and the Champions League match against Bayern Munich. Now, Jules Koundé was not the only injury concern in France's match. Dembélé had also been rumored to pick up an injury even though he only played for 12 minutes. But thankfully, France confirmed that it was only a discomfort due to overload. So Dembélé has remained with the French team. Now, Ronald Araujo has also picked up an injury in Uruguay's defeat against Iran and he was subbed out at the fifth minute. Now there isn't any information in regards to the extent of the injury of Ronald Araujo so we are going to have to wait until medical tests are performed so we can know the severity of the injury of the Uruguayan defender. Now in the Netherlands victory over Poland, Memphis Depay picked up an injury during the second half and he too has returned to Barcelona where he's going to undergo medical exams tomorrow, Saturday the September the 21st in order to determine the severity of his injury. Now Frankie de Jong was subbed out during halftime and it was initially thought that it was due to precaution but it's now being confirmed that Frankie de Jong has also picked up an injury and, he, and that he too will return to Barcelona where he's going to undergo medical exam to determine the severity of his injury. Now this is the huge blow for Barcelona where five players have already been injured despite the international break only has started a few days ago and this is why I don't personally like international breaks because not only do they disrupt the calendar, they also disrupt the the team dynamics, they add minutes and fatigue to the players and they also add injuries to the players leaving their respective clubs without the services of the players for weeks and sometimes for months. Now I understand when there has to be international breaks for World Cup qualifiers because those are important but I don't understand why this international break was placed in the calendar when the World Cup is right around the corner and these players already have a very hectic calendar because of the World Cup and now you're adding more international matches to the hectic calendar and to, and to do this for something silly like the Nations League is simply unacceptable and it's something that I don't quite understand. Now speaking of Frank de Jong, it's reported that the Dutch midfielder has agreed to renegotiate his salary with the club at the end of this year. Now as you already know, Barcelona attempted to offload Frank de Jong over the summer with Manchester United offering Barcelona around 85 million for the Dutch midfielder. Now it's reported that Frank de Jong reached an agreement with Juan Laporta over the summer that he would remain in the club in exchange for renegotiating his salary at a later date. 
Now it seems that that later date is the end of this year where, Fra where Joan Laporta is gonna attempt to bring Frankie de Jong's salary under the strict pay scale that he has implemented where no player will earn more than 10 million euros. Now it's also reported that Barcelona have promised Frankie de Jong not to take him to court over his contract if he agrees to, re to renegotiate his salary given that the club considered that Frankie de Jong's contract is illegal because it was given by Josep Maria Bartomeu to the player a few days before he resigned. Now as I reported in yesterday's video which I will leave the link for down below in the description in case you want to check it out. It's been confirmed that Sergio Busquets will be leaving Barcelona at the end of his contract in the summer of 2023. Now as a result, Barcelona are currently in the market to try to find a replacement for Sergio Busquets and it's reported that Xavi's favorite player to replace Busquets is Real Sociedad's Subi Mendy. Now Subi Mendy is a 23 year old midfielder and he currently has a 60 million euro release clause with Real Sociedad and it's now being reported that Real Sociedad given Barcelona's and other clubs interest in Subimendi they have decided to renew Subimendi's contract and not only to add more years to it but to also incre increase the release clause so they can make more money off this transfer. Now it's reported that Barcelona are not willing to pay the 60 million euro release clause for Subimendi so they're definitely not going to be willing to pay any more if Real Sociedad increases the release clause for their midfielder. Now on to the news that Pablo Torre has been seen training with Barca Athletic and he could be playing his first match with Barca Athletic over the weekend. Now as I reported many times before, Pablo Torre was originally signed as a Barca Athletic player with the idea that he would feature with the senior team. Now after spending the entire preseason with the first team, Xabi and the coaching staff decided that Pablo Torre would play all his matches with Barca Athletic but he would exclusively train with the first team and he would be called up to certain matches with the first team as well. Now Pablo Torre reportedly refused to play with Barca Athletic and he even asked to be loaned back to his former team Racing de Santander because he prefers to play in a second division with Racing over play in the third division with Barca Athletic. Now the club have met with Pablo Torre over this international break and they have offered him to play with Barca Athletic so he can have more playing time because for so he can continue his growth and development but they've also offered him to remain in the first team dynamic uh, to exclusively train with the first team and to also be called up uh, to certain matches with the first team as well. Now Pablo Torre has reportedly agreed and he, and he was seen today practicing with the Barca Athletic team and he could be playing over the weekend with the Barca Athletic for the first time. Now there are several reports in the media stating that Barcelona are hoping that Gerard Piquet would resign at the end of the season and that they're going to sign Inigo Martinez from Athletic de Bilbao to replace him. Now Gerard Piquet had previously said that, if, that he would leave the club if he feels that he's not needed and so far he has only played two matches this season so it's reported that Barcelona are hoping that he would fulfill his promise and he will resign at the end of the season. Now Gerard Piquet has a contract until 2024 but it's reported that there's a clause in his contract that would allow him to leave if he plays less than 35% of the matches. Now several reports in the media are stating that Barcelona are, are going to sign Inigo Martinez from Athletic de Bilbao in order to replace Gerard Piquet. Now the club have said that there is no pre-agreement or anything in writing with Inigo Martinez that the player contract will be up with Athletic de Bilbao next summer and that he seems to be refusing to renew that contract. However, there is no agreement between Barcelona to bring the player. Now this doesn't mean that Barcelona are not going to sign him but it definitely means that they will not sign him for sure the way some media outlets are claiming. Now on to the news that Barcelona are thinking that Atletico de Madrid might not want to keep Antoine Griezmann because they could be considering firing their coach Simeone. Now as I reported many times before, Antoine Griezmann is currently on his second year loan with Atletico de Madrid and there's a clause in his contract that stipulates that if he plays 45 minutes or more of 50% of all the matches that he's available for, then Atletico de Madrid would be forced to buy him from Barcelona for 40 million euros. Now Atletico de Madrid have currently been playing Antoine Griezmann for around 27 minutes per match because they're trying to avoid triggering that clause and it's also reported that they approached Barcelona over the summer and offered 20 million euros for the French player which Barcelona rejected. Now it's reported that Barcelona are currently willing to negotiate with Atletico de Madrid and they'd be willing to allow the French player to go for around 25 to 30 million euros. However, Barcelona are now thinking that Atletico de Madrid might not want to keep Antoine Griezmann for any price 
because they are cons they might be considering firing their coach Simeone who is one of the main reasons why Antoine Griezmann is currently on their squad. Now we will end today's video with the news that after a report leaked saying that Barcelona are interested in Jorginho, the player has confirmed that Barcelona have not reached out to him and that he's not interested in coming either, that his only interest is to extend his contract and remain at Stamford Bridge. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a like. Also, I'd like to invite all of you to please leave a comment down below, giving me all your thoughts and opinions about all the news that I share with you. And finally, I'd like to invite all of you to please subscribe to the channel so you can stay current on all the latest news in regards to our beloved club, FC Barcelona. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. And as always, Peace Garza.